November 13th, Faith or Experience The Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Galatians 2 verse 20 We should battle through our moods, feelings, and emotions into absolute devotion to the Lord Jesus. We must break out of our own little world of experience into abandoned devotion to him. Think who the New Testament says Jesus Christ is, and then think of the despicable meagerness of the miserable faith we exhibit by saying, I haven't had this experience or that experience. Think what faith in Jesus Christ claims and provides. He can present us faultless before the throne of God, inexpressibly pure, absolutely righteous, and profoundly justified. Stand in absolute adoring faith in Jesus Christ, who became for us wisdom from God and righteousness and sanctification and redemption. 1 Corinthians 1 verse 30. How dare we talk of making a sacrifice for the Son of God? We are saved from hell and total destruction, and then we talk about making sacrifices. We must continually focus and firmly place our faith in Jesus Christ. Not a prayer meeting Jesus Christ, or a book Jesus Christ, but the New Testament Jesus Christ, who is God incarnate, and who ought to strike us dead at his feet. Our faith must be in the one from whom our salvation springs. Jesus Christ wants our absolute, unrestrained devotion to himself. We can never experience Jesus Christ or selfishly bind him in the confines of our own hearts. Our faith must be built on strong, determined confidence in him. It is because of our trusting in experience that we see the steadfast impatience of the Holy Spirit against unbelief. All our fears are sinful, and we create our own fears by refusing to nourish ourselves in our faith. How can anyone who is identified with Jesus Christ suffer from doubt or fear? Our lives should be an absolute hymn of praise, resulting from perfect, irrepressible, triumphant belief.